Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NHL slate for tonight. And boy, oh boy, I don't know what the, what it is about today, but DraftKings really turned this into serious DGen Tuesday. They put the prize pools for hockey way up there, as they did with tennis. So, be a big day for DFS this uh, today. So we're going to go through this same way we usually do. We're going to take a look at the team totals, then. First, I'm going to take the gummy bear out of my, out of my mouth. Um, we'll look at the team totals and figure out what teams rate to score a uh, bunch of goals because that usually correlates decently with fantasy points. Then we're going to pull up my true DFS sheets to see what players look to be uh, available to get into good lineups. Then we're going to build a lineup by hand, and then we are going to use Saberson to build a portfolio of lineups and then get out of here. Um, I do recommend that you – well, I was about to recommend that you come to the live uh, stream tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to be there uh, for that long, uh, if at all. And if I am, it's going to be very, I'll be able to talk about hockey for a few minutes, but uh, make sure that if you are there, that you you bug me, say, who do you like in hockey? Or something like that. Otherwise I might forget. Actually, I won't forget, but uh, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a tough night for me. I will make it on there, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what time. Nonetheless, we'll take a look and we'll see. Uh, let's look at some team totals. So this is Daily Roto. They have Winnipeg with a four, uh, Toronto with a four, uh, Nashville with a four, Buffalo with a four, Edmonton with a four. So they and Detroit with a four actually. So they have a they have a bunch of teams that are kind of vying for that kind of top spot. The Detroit at four is actually very uh very interesting. I wouldn't expect that. Um, the other teams are just kind of teams we're used to. Um, let's take a look and see what Sabersim does with their uh, their uh, uh, implied goals. They have Edmonton at a four one. They don't. They're not as optimistic as on Detroit. They're a little more optimistic on Buffalo with a three nine. Nashville pretty much the same. Toronto is up at four. So these guys are more along the lines of Edmonton and Toronto, uh, and not the other teams. Not quite as close. I'm, I'm curious to see how my projections work out specifically with Detroit to see how it all kind of worked out. Nonetheless, let's pull up again my sheets here. And just, again, you don't know anything about hockey. You don't know anything about anything. All we're going to do is gaze at this. And what we're doing is we're looking at the top of the board and see if there's a bunch of guys that rate well on the same team, right? This is, not even DFS 101. This is DFS 000. Boom. Okay, so let's look up here. What do we got? Now, again, what we're doing is we're rating all these guys by sheets value score, which is don't really have time to get into it today, but it's my way of, of ranking guys. It's a combination of both uh, fantasy points per dollar and just overall upside. Um, I do notice Matthews at the top, but I don't see, and then I do have Nylander, Number 22, that's not exactly perfect, though. I mean, I'd rather see teams, see guys a little more clustered up here from the same team. Let's take a look here. So Winnipeg, we got just the one guy. Actually, that's not true. Two guys from Winnipeg in the top 20, so that's good. Nashville, just the one. Ooh, Chicago, just the one. Got two Philly guys up here. But see, these guys are well. They're both they're both on the second power play line. If that helps, boy, they're really really cheap up here, which is going to be interesting. Which is why they're probably getting some ownership. But as far as finding a line like a stack, it's really difficult. Okay, so here are our guys: uh, Drysidel, McDavid, Hyman. Like all three of these guys are up here. So this is the Edmonton line is going to be the one that we're like to get. Ooh, here's the other Toronto guy. I totally missed him. I didn't even see Tavares. So although Tavares is not on the number one even strength line, he's on the second, he's on the first power play line. So he correlates nicely enough with Matthews. So Matthews, Tavares, and Nyland. So those are the places we'd like to go if we are trying to build by hand. It would be, again, either the Toronto, those three guys, or Edmonton, 
the top three guys, Dreisaitl, McDavid, and Hyman. And again, we're not, we're not doing algorithms or anything like that. We're just gazing at this. Um, remember, all the work's been done already for, for the projections, and this is not exactly the worst thing to do. Um, and then we see, you know, these various one-offs here, like this Faraby, the two Philly guys. With the existence of those two top guys, those two guys that are cheap near the top, plus you have these two Chicago's. You have Patrick Kane at 61, Max Domi at 46. You probably have enough value to make those Edmonton and or Toronto lines work. So let's see if we can do it. Um, let's pull up a, a DraftKings. Ooh, where, where did DraftKings go? Where did it go? All right, so we'll pull it in. Sorry about this. So we'll pull up a hockey lineup and we'll clear the fields. And let's build, let's, let's do, I don't know, let's do Toronto first. So Toronto, we want Matthews, we want Tavares, and we want Nylander. Okay, so that's 6,900. It's not easy. It leaves us 4,600 a man. And before we do anything else, I want to put in kind of a cheap goalie. So let's see. Uh, Samsonov's probably a little too expensive at 8,000 to make this work. Gustafson's 78, 78, 85. 83. Ooh, they're not really giving us a lot of cheapos for goalies. So it may as well get the correlation, right? May as well get Samson over. As long as we have to overspend anyway. Let's, 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 oh, them. They have, um, oh no, Samson is not. Hold on. Yeah, Samson 8,100. So we have to make sure he's starting and all that stuff. But let's start with this. So now you got 4,000 a man. So can you do this? Can you play this top line and make this work? Well, it depends what other value there is. First of all, what I'd love to do is get somebody else from Toronto in there, okay? Because just three might not be enough. Let's see, who's the, who's the other cheapo that we can get, or it's cheap enough that we can get from Toronto and get in here? So it's Savaris, Nylander, Marner 6,800 is not particularly cheap. Riley at 4,800. So he's the guy that we're going to have to get. Okay. So Riley at 4,800. And that would leave us with 3,800 a man. Okay. So can we do it? Well, let's see. Let's see if we can go back here and rate kind of by point per dollar and see what cheapos exist. Now, we, we ran into a couple of them before, right? It was Faraby at 3,600, Tippett at 4,400. And there are a couple of others in here. This is interesting. This Taylor Radish is 3,100, and he actually is on the same power play line with Kane. And Domi, actually, specifically Domi and Radish are on the same line. What would happen if we if we did that? Just for, as I like to say, just for funsies. Radish, boom. So can I get Kane in two? I doubt. It. Domi. So we can't quite do it. So 37, and so we have some, really, this is pretty good. We have a 4-2, and then you know what we can do? We can go right back to those Philly dudes. So this is sweet, actually. Go right back to Faraday and then find some, some cheapo defenseman. So you can do this with Toronto, like, really easily. Because the key is to take these Chicagos and these Phillies. So now I presume that if you could do it with Toronto, you could probably do it with Edmonton, right? Well, I'll see about that. Uh, Edmonton, uh, let's see, same guys. Ooh, probably a little more expensive. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Hyman. Not quite as easy, my friend, to get these Edmontons in. Hmm. 
Not quite as easy at all. Matter of fact, let's see. If we wanted to even do this, I mean, we couldn't even, first of all, we have to pay down. Like, we'd almost have to take the cheapest goalie available. Uh, Gustafson, 7,800. Campbell, there you go. Let's, let's correlate. So 7,800. So you could do this. Now it's, you're just going to have to double punt at, um, at defense. Okay. Um, but you could certainly do it. Um, or the other thing you could do is, is pay down a little bit more uh, and get the second cheapo from Philly. Who's that? Um, was uh, Tippett. Oh, actually, he's just as cheap. I mean, you don't really get much of a difference in him and Domi anyway. But so you could do this if you wanted to do something different and then double punt the defense. So, so you can do it. You can get your Edmontons and your Torontos in. So if you're hand building, it's not such a bad idea. To try to do that. So now let's go into Saberson and see what types of lineups we get out of them. Uh, so again, we're going back here. Uh, you can you could do it from uh, True DFS as well. I just do it from here. It's a little easier for me. So we'll just re-upload them, even though I've done it already. Let's we'll reset all this. We'll reset everything just to show you how I do it. Upload, upload CSV. You know, I keep my own file, but you could download this right from True DFS. Put it up here. All these guys are out, so I obviously have to redo my projections. Nonetheless, let's build from 150, 150 lineups. I don't know, let's, let's build 150. Why not? Cost us nothing. Cost us nothing to build them. And I wonder what we would get. I wonder if, 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 if building 150 with assuming some ownership fade and all this stuff, if we're, if we're going to get a whole bunch of Toronto's and, and, and Edmonton's. Very interested to see what I would get. Uh, indeed. However, seeing a bunch of uh, Winnipeg's really, uh, rearing their ugly heads up here, which certainly makes sense. They were my next rated team. So let's take a look. Uh, first team stacks, Edmonton, Toronto, Nashville, Winnipeg, fine. Then we look at stack types, which is interesting because I, I always wonder what we can get out of this. So a bunch of four twos, you don't get a lot of five twos though. Like for example, if you go to team stacks, you can't get five mans really out of Edmonton, all right? Um, you can get a couple for Toronto, but no five man. You can get four men out of out of Edmonton. I mean, a full ten percent of the lineups are four man Edmonton stacks. But you know, Winnipeg is is cheap enough where you can you can do some do some, do some business with them. So I think that when you're building for MME, I think Winnipeg is going to be some you know it's a pretty big part of your portfolio. But Edmonton and Toronto are certainly the, the, the main the main dudes, so to speak. And it looks like the Detroit thing from Saberson from uh, from Daily Road is probably kind of an illusion. Uh, maybe you're getting some Bertucci in there or something like that. Um, but aside from that, Winnipeg, Edmonton, Toronto, those are the main main squeezes, so to speak. I guess that's going to do it. Um, uh, again, just continuing to to work on this kind of repeatable process that you guys can do on your own um, using the true DFS tools to help build yourself some good lineups. Now, again, don't be like me, make sure that you, you have all your goalies in. It's like yesterday I built like 30 lineups and the 15 of them, I think had goalies that were out. I just I was lazy. I got too busy and I just forgot uh, to double check. So make sure you do that. I need an intern. Nonetheless, uh, that will do it. Uh, good luck, everybody, and good night. Good, good, good night. Good luck on this really, really big start.